going to call the uh, select board meeting for April 16, 2018 to order. The chair is ill this evening, so she won't be joining us. Um, first order of business is approval of minutes for April 9th. Are there any corrections or additions? That's good. All right, I'm good with them as well. Uh, community input. Any input from the audience so far? All right. Seeing none, uh, we don't have any department heads here yet. I'm sure they will arrive shortly. Although we won't be seeing the road agent more than likely this evening. He's been out since 1 this morning, mm -hmm. salting. So we thank him for his efforts this morning. Um, I wouldn't expect to see him tonight. Uh, town administration. Um, so we have two things left under post-meeting chores. Uh, Conservation Commission. Oh, we did get an email from Suzanne. I did see, I think it came yesterday or this morning. I don't remember which, when, but... Um, saying that she had heard back from um, uh, Mark Kucher and he has uh, declined to come back on. Mm -hmm. He did offer to assist um, when he can. He's happy to, 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 to help where needed. But he didn't want to be back on. We haven't heard back from um, Al or Dan. Mm -hmm. um, Suzanne was suggesting that, no, I can't think of the lady's name, Jack Jackie Schroeder, is that her name, mm -hmm. be appointed um, then she hasn't heard from the others. Mm -hmm. yeah. And leave the, uh, and leave the uh, alternate, alternate vacant. vacant for now. Yeah. Is that something we want to do this evening, or do we want to wait till next week when she's back? Well, she's going to be back next week because she's going to be on right. vacation. So. Right. I mean, I don't, I don't see any other. We can always, um, if they haven't re replied, clearly they're not going to. Yeah. Uh, it's Perhaps. kind of what I'm thinking. Okay. So, I mean, I, we put everyone on that was interested, right? Yep. Yeah. So. That is uh, my recollection. So, do you want to make a motion to appoint anyone? To Jackie Woods. Jackie Schroeder. Woods Schroeder. Schroeder. All right, I make a motion to uh, appoint Jackie Schroeder to fill the vacant position on the Conservation Commission. I'll second that. Any discussion about it? I will say that I um, had a chance to have a conversation with her yesterday at breakfast. Um, she was at the Legion for breakfast as well, and I was introduced to her. She's very nice. Mm -hmm. So, I thank her for wanting to step up and wish her the best. So, if there's nothing else to say about it, all those in favor of appointing Jackie Shorter to the Conservation Commission say aye. 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 Those opposed, we, uh, we will appoint Jackie Shorter to serve on the Conservation Commission. Election of chairs. So, uh, the ZBA has not met yet. Uh, Suzanne. Um, was going to um, call that meeting when she got back. If they have a case, you had volunteered to yep. call that meeting. That's wonderful. Conservation Commission did meet last Thursday, I believe she said, Wednesday. Uh, they elected Paul Cass as their chair. Uh, the planning board will be meeting uh, the first Tuesday of uh, May, which I believe is on the 8th. Confirm uh, that. And we will be yes. holding. We'll be holding the uh, election at 7 o'clock in this very room. So. Uh, that would be it. Everything else would be covered. So um, I'm suggesting we uh, table the management response in uh, Suzanne's, if that's all right. Mm -hmm. uh, quarter one budget. Uh, I think we're just leaving uh, the manager of the transfer station on there for George um, for his consideration. Or actually, he's the one who brought it for our consideration. Um, we'll save that until he comes back. Mm -hmm. um, the only reason we've kept uh, FICA for Group 1 employees on, we've handled it for what we need to do on our end. The auditor hasn't done finished doing what he needs to do, the paperwork, I guess, so that's the only reason we're keeping it on there. Um, there's nothing left, as far as I know, for us to do. Uh, landfill post-closure report, I believe, is in here. the folder here. Somewhere in the deep recesses of the pool. Mm -hmm. um, it's a report that we need to issue annually to uh, to the state. It's for the um, the old yes. old landfill that's at or was at the um, transfer now transfer station. Yeah. Um, Caroline was hoping that one of us would sit down with George to help finish complete it. I'm happy to do that if okay. we want. Um, Suzanne probably normally would, but um, I'll do it. What kind of inspection is required back. here? Is it inspection from the state? No. Um, or, or the amount of environmental services? Yeah. Inspection. 
there's um, there's things that we're reporting. Sure. There's, um, it's not an inspection; it's just a report of anything that may have changed from year to year. So some of the questions are um, the general site condition: is access to landfill restricted by use of gates, fences, or natural barriers? And the answer is yes. It's fenced. Um, or weather resistant legible signs posted around the perimeter of the landfill areas where fencing is not used? Uh, no. Um, is access roads properly graded and drained? Yes. Uh, is any portion of the site used for activities other than post closure monitoring or maintenance? Well, yes, it's transfer station. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, the question's like that. Okay. So, there are a few things that George uh, just needs some assistance with. So, I, I said I'd be happy to do it. And Suzanne Dabson. So, if that's so okay, if you're okay with that. Yep, I am. Our, um, our financial support and others that when the zone happened, that stopped years ago, right? Well, we had to pay it for years and probably a four-year time period. But we had to pay it for years and years the closure of the and all of the people who of, 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 of the towns or mm -hmm. or, or, towns or, or, or no no so that's different. That was the um, landfill at UNH. No, it's here in town. But, but the one we're still paying on, we pay every year, is the landfill at UNH oh, so okay. it was a lamprey. Okay. That's what we pay for every year. Okay. And it's, I don't remember how much it's, it's in the town report. Okay. That's the one. Now, this is covered and we just have to monitor. Yep. And we have to show that we're meeting certain standards. Okay. Every year. No, that's, no, we'll be paying um, every year, actually, for the rest of our lives, yeah. all of our lives, uh -huh. uh, for uh -huh. Lampley <laughs> and uh, for generations. So, anyway, um, town official training, uh, there are. Um, Bound, right? Uh, uh, yes. A free training for town officials? Yep, I've signed up for it. I am attending. Um, it's, um, I don't have my date. Okay. Um, May 8th, I think, is the Caroline one in Newington. Email about it. Yeah, so um, the suggestion was because for all um, municipal um, elected officials and appointed officials. Correct. So I'll find the email I can just read and it'll probably be easier. All uh, right. Um, it's on, um, I have to click the link. <laughs> Very lucky. Let's see. The date's not in the email. So. I think it's May 8th, Tuesday, May 8th. Yeah, it's like and it's from, from 9, 9 to, to 4th, 4th yeah. 30 or 4th or something. And it's at the, uh, the, the town hall at Newington. So that's anyway, correct. So There's other locations, but that's the closest. Yeah. So uh, the suggestion was would it make sense to send this out to all the uh, all folks that are volunteer appointed mm -hmm. officials and elected officials, I certainly think it makes sense. Why I think not? it makes sense, yeah. It's not, um, it's, it's, a, it's an overview of a lot of things. It's not, um, it's not specific to one area, so right. it's a nice overview. That piece is free, so if folks want to go, I think it would be wonderful. There's no registration fee, but free registration is required. Right. And lunch is on your own, it says. So. Correct. They have continental breakfast in the morning. So I think we should probably then direct Caroline to send that email out to folks. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Just to make sure she explains to them that if you sign up and if you don't show up, it does cost you $20. Ah, okay. There's a okay. thing on the bottom of yep. it saying if you... Well, sure, because they're you're firing... They're, it's doing yeah. place for the food and stuff sure. that they're buying yeah. for breakfast and stuff. Yeah. So, so she's just going to forward the, uh, the link. Yep. So can make it's really easy to sign up. Yeah. Perfect. Um, uh, the next is training for municipal budget process, May 2nd. Um, the question is whether or not to post a public uh, PR about it. Uh, my understanding is that it's hosted by the, I mean, won't be here, uh, we'll be on vacation, but it's being hosted by the select board and the um, budget committee and, is there another committee? Budget committee and then anyone in, in town who's mm -hmm. interested. Mm -hmm. Uh, would be invited to attend. Um, the question is whether or not we want to put out. Uh, I emailed the budget committee PR members part. today. Okay. I've heard from four people. One can not, and three can. Okay. So far. All right. So where is the? We found her. So that basically just as the basic law of budgeting. On Wednesday, May 2nd, the select board is hosting a workshop with the budget committee. Attorneys from the New Hampshire Municipal Association will be speaking about the laws and process of municipal budgeting. The town voted to adopt um, uh, SB2, which will affect the budgeting process, so it's a good time to refresh our understanding of the budget process, as well as any changes 
um, due to uh, SB2. The public is welcome to attend and observe. This is a great opportunity for anyone who may wish to serve on the Budget Committee in the future to learn about um, the role and responsibilities of members and the process involved. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that may need to change on that? If not, we'll... Uh, I'll give her the blessing to send it out. All right, well, yeah. I'll let her know that she should send that out. Mm -hmm. At least the department has a committee member. That's what. Yeah, that's what. That's what. Thank you. That's, that's, what, that's what I was. More. That's where I was rather blank. Department heads. Thank you. Yeah. That's you know, you know, those folks that we actually have to do budget do mm -hmm. things for us. Um, next is uh, Stratford Regional Planning Commission HSEM grant. This is uh, Suzanne's um, uh, placeholder. It's a, I would suggest that we table if everyone's okay with that. Yeah, <laughs> Next is hers as well. Initial conversation, meeting twice monthly. Um, I would suggest we table that. I don't mm -hmm. think we're anywhere near being able to make that happen. Um, Oak Street Boundary, this is my uh, my line. Um, <laughs> I didn't want to right today, I'm sorry. Um, uh, it's going to happen, I would say, in May. I don't think it's going to happen any time in April, mm -hmm. um, given the history of the weather in the last uh, couple of months. I don't think it's happening. Uh, but it will. I'll be happy to report back, and if anyone wants to come with me, they're more than welcome. I'll let you know when it's happening. Uh, town administration, uh, board member activities and updates. Anything to report? To um, no, I'll be meeting on uh, Wednesday with the budget committee and getting the process of electing the chair, and then I am representing Suzanne. Right, right, right. Here, yep. So I will also yep. stay for the meeting. Okay. I think that's all I have. I don't think for a meeting. Uh, I also requested um, Chief Duchamp to set up a meeting with the uh, police uh, space, space needs, needs awesome. to get it going yep. and explain that we're probably going to have to have a, a public hearing before we can even go for, forward to hear the public comment about the project. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. lay out certain of the uh, suggestions from, uh, or rather the proposals from the, I can't remember how many companies, was it with four three. or five or well, three? That is three, yeah. Um, yeah, just to make sure that, you know, we're all on the same page. Yeah. And then then you still, with SB2, you're going to have to have multiples as yeah. well, sure. especially if you're going to have um, financing. Yeah. Sure. So I'm he told me what he couldn't do, and I'll work together awesome. to come back. Yep, thank you for that. Mm -hmm. I um, just looked at my calendar. I actually don't have anything else but this. I'm very happy. Oh, that's not true. On Sunday, um, the Historical Committee is hosting a uh, walk at 2 o'clock. Of the uh, of the village, uh, Peter Michaud, uh, former uh, longtime resident of this town, um, and a member of the staff of the um, State Department of Historical Resources, is going to be giving the tour. Nice. We're very excited about that. Yeah, he's out. He's out in the past. Um, he does a great job, so it should be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, we're meeting at two o'clock at Bicentennial Park, um, mm -hmm. down by the gazebo. If folks want to come. If there isn't parking available there. Um, the the Pellerins have agreed to let us park at the mill. So oh, nice. It's just around the corner. Mm -hmm. so it was very nice of them, and we appreciate that. Um, so, I don't think there's anything else for board member activities. And I don't have a single building permit for tonight. We did, before the meeting starts, just so everyone knows, sign thank you cards to uh, the students from Marshwood High School that graciously gave up their time and picked up garbage on the side of our roadway, so we thank them for that. Um, but that's it for my folder. And we do correspondence. We have um, a letter that's going to be sent to Mr. Fletcher. Yep. Do I read it or just Yeah, you can read it or I'll read it, it doesn't matter. I'm going to read it. Okay, yep. so we've, um, we've issued or asked to have several checks issued to um, entities that um, the, the treasurer has refused to sign, um, so um, we, uh, he believes that it can't be done without other things happening first, so we reached out to the Municipal Association, which let us know about RSA 4129 that says, um, well, I'll read the letter. Uh, Dear Mr. Crozier, the select board is aware of your position that a check requires an accompanying invoice before you will fix your signature to the check. In your email dated April 12th, you mentioned that an invoice was required according to the GAAP and GASP. 
Uh, this caused the board to want to check into the regulations, so we checked with the municipal association. The attorneys at the municipal association inquired with Barbara Reed, the government finance advisor at the New Hampshire Municipal Association, who responded that an invoice, this is a quote, is an audit issue, not a GAAP or GASP issue, unquote. Uh, the attorneys further offered reference to RSA 4129, which states that it is the duty of the town treasurer to pay out town funds, quote, upon orders of the selectmen by a manifest signed by a majority of the board. A check manifest is a good practice, but a new one that has not been in place in Rollinsford. The bookkeeper has agreed to provide a manifest, which the board will sign, uh, we're doing that this evening, affirming the support of the checks that are to be printed and signed by a board member. Uh, this week, the manifest will include the checks printed last week. Uh, the opinion of the attorney shared by the board based on the RSA is that the presentation of a manifest to the town treasurer for payment of the purchase order for tractor supply is sufficient to obligate the treasurer to make the payment. Uh, we hope that you will agree and sign this check and any others provided with the legally required documentation. It is best when we can work cooperatively together for what is in the best interest of the town and we will both sign. Unless there's any objection. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, we, um, uh, they wouldn't be issuing, the, the issue was around, really around tractor supply company. They wouldn't, they're not issuing an invoice, we're buying it because we need to get the VIN number first. The, back and forth, mm -hmm. but um, the law says that the select board issues the orders to issue checks and it's the duty of the treasurer to sign those checks. So and it was on a PO. It was indeed on the first one. Right. So, so um, it really should have been taken care of and it's unfortunate that it's this, but there's the letter. And check manifest to sign this evening. There it is. Sign the check manifest and we're good to go. And we can keep reviewing this. We have to the folder and we can review the rest of the correspondence. Now, these invoices, these are legal invoices, do you have to go through every one of them? Just saying, uh, we, 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 we keep them in the um, in the folder just so uh, um, each board member can see them if they'd like to. I, saw the, I, I don't need them. to see them. I don't need to sign them just to no, sign I just them. Okay. The chair, whoever, oh. one of us has to sign it uh, okay. so they can be paid. Got it. And I came in earlier today to do that. Okay. Um, I have a letter here to, Su to Suzanne, Town of Rollinson, New Hampshire, 350,808 general obligation bond. Oh, this is the bond. Um, is this? Different bond council. Transcript of proceedings. But yeah, this is from the attorney at law, Devin Milnett. Close to the CD. A transcript of the proceedings for the above. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is... Um, this is for the bond, for, for last year's bond. Correct. Right. So when the bond was actually issued and sold, that's the documentation of the process of it being okay. sold. So, so for no record. action to do on that. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's an exciting process. About that. Um, this is the Land and Water Conservation Fund Compliance and Properties. I think we, this was there last week. From last week. Uh-huh. Rollins of Recreation Area. I think we talked about that last week, or it's been in there. It's the old... Uh, Department of, yeah. We need to get her to clean those out. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is from the... Yeah, these are all... From the transfer station when the land got moved and yep. we had to transfer fund uh, uh, land over, so we... Yeah, that's old, we can... Old, old. That, but there's the new... Um, I have the new on this side, and that's all I have. Yeah. Yep. That's it? Yep. For that folder? Yep. <laughs> Any other community input? Yes, I had sent an email to the board, and Suzanne had responded that tonight you would be talking about transferring transfer station stickers. It doesn't look like it needed on. No, to the it didn't agenda. make it on the, the agenda. So, um, I'll just refresh. I saw the email. So I just refresh my memory. So I think you got an e I think you got an email saying you were all set. Well, uh, we got. So we got. My husband and I both crashed our cars and totaled them out this right. spring. We bought two when trans did spring happen? I'm sorry. Uh, this winter. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we had transfer stations we had bought in the fall, in the, during November and December, mm -hmm. one for each vehicle. Mm -hmm. right. I came in and talked to Kate last Monday. She said, for a second vehicle, it's $5. But I sent an email to the board asking, does it affect it if it's the same plates, because we're transferring plates mm -hmm. right. from one? And do we have to pay for new transfer station stickers since 
we've already paid in December? Right. Or can we just get new ones issued for our new vehicles? And then the third question is, is I'm borrowing a family vehicle from out of state. Right. And could I get something to use the transfer station? That question was answered in an yeah. email. Mm -hmm. And I can get a letter from yeah. Kate mm -hmm. yeah. to use the out-of-state vehicle. Yeah. Right. But it was the transferring from one vehicle to another with, uh, with a charge. I, it it, I, I believe Suzanne gave her opinion, but no. wanted the board to talk about it. Oh, save me from trying to find it. What was her opinion? Do you remember? She said she did not see a problem transferring it from one vehicle to another. Right. But she used the same plate. It's not, it, right. And um, she wanted the board to discuss it and possibly down the line come up with a policy and that you could, a uh, simple line or something that in your transfer station books or whatever, that they can be transferred upon. It's not in the policy? Or maybe it is. I'll tell you what, why don't we do this if you're okay with that? You, you, got, you, you got a short term answer though? Yes. Yeah, because you're, I mean, you, you don't have any issue right now, right? Uh, my husband got a 30 day Perfect. letter from Kate I'll last week. I'll tell you what week. we'll do. Give me a week. So next Monday, we'll add it to the agenda. Um, and I will Caroline review did the something, but I, I yeah, she referred it to Kate, it. who got us the letter, and right. she was going to have some kind of form in there if you were, if something like this happened that they would just fill it out, and, right. which they already have on file yeah. that okay. Kate gives you if something happens to your vehicle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's thirty days. Right. Okay. But you so. can, if some, if it doesn't get resolved, it probably could be another thirty days. Right. I mean, but. So what I want to do is I want to go back and look at the ordinance okay. and see if it's referenced in there at all. Okay. And we can change that if it's not, but at this point I don't think we're prepared tonight to no. resolve it. So we're going to wait till next, we're going to punch yes. until next month. That's okay. My husband and I were also discussing this and we were wondering, like, what happens to people who go out and buy a new vehicle in the year's time? Do they buy a new transfer station or can they, or transfer station sticker or do they just, um, transfer it from one vehicle to another. Are we the, really the first people who have had this happen? I can't imagine. I can't, I kind of doubt it. Yeah, first person that's come to this board to yeah. ask a question. But um, I can't imagine it's a new dilemma. And we'll, we'll have to look at the ordinance and see what it says, okay? Okay, thank you. And we'll take that next Monday. So let me just write down transferring, transfer, station, stickers. And then the fee associated with it, yep. if there's any. Or, and I don't know if you guys want to require documentation or anything, but I've had some people tell me they had to take pictures of it on their vehicle to prove that they had one or that they had to scrape it off the window and return. We, we have a, a record that we issued you one. So yeah. You'd be coming in to register a new vehicle. So I can't imagine it happens so often that it would be an issue to review it. But any other uh, community this comment? We're getting ready to go home. We're done. Oh, we're do quick I? tonight. Okay. Yeah, I, oh. I do. Sure. Uh, I, I went to ask. I, I sent uh, an email to uh, Suzanne and uh, and uh, also to uh, Tom Clark. Yes, and she forwarded that to us. Uh, oh, she did. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, did you get? You haven't got a response. She's out sick tonight. So, but. Um, we, it, it's in reference to the, it's a 234 Summersworth Road, I think. Yeah. It's the, the house that's been torn down and they want to build again. When the building permit came before us, we rejected it for the first, for a week. Um, because Suzanne and I both remembered um, um, groundwater wetland issues with that parcel. Um, when we got it back the next week, Mr. Clark said he had reviewed it. Um, that the um, uh, there was sufficient um, sort of buffer between where they were built, the buildable parcel, right. part of the parcel, versus where the wetlands were. Yeah. So that shouldn't have been an issue. But you brought up something different now, Mark. Right? There's uh, water, uh, displacement issues. Right? You're worried about the water being displaced on here. Well, I, 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 the reason I, I'm asking, I just want to make sure that you know, the, you know there's no plans, or we haven't seen any plan, or anything. so I want to make sure that. We're, you know, when he does some site work, that he's right. not filling in and, 
and sending water over my right. side. I mean, I, I get enough of it now, you know. Okay, uh, uh, and that was my, my only concern. I don't have right. a problem with him building a house there. Right. Uh, although, uh, I did uh, uh, reference the, the zoning rules and, and, and uh, where that's been completely demolished, uh, he, he should be going through a variance. Uh, for that that lot. Right, that was my recollection as well. Mr. Clark said that um, a house was allowed on, in, under the zone that it is. It's not, is it industrial there still? Yes. That part's industrial, so that it, um, a single family house was allowed yeah, under yeah. industrial, so. Yeah. Um, but he's got a non conforming lot. That's okay, he does. Yeah. Then we will be uh, going back and looking at it again. No. But I, he, but he didn't respond to you yet, then. No. So okay. No. Typical. No. I was thinking he was going to respond to us to that and forward on to you, but he, he could have just responded directly to you. And I hadn't seen the okay. so we'll. Um, yeah, I didn't see anything. I'm like, no. Make a note of that to follow up on that because we we knew there was issues with this property, so right, right. Um, we don't want to make yeah. bigger issues. So. Well, well, that's it. That, that's the only thing I'm looking at is yeah. protecting myself because I don't blame you. Yeah, and that's. And that's the only thing. I, could, um, uh, I think it's great that he's going to put a house there. Yeah. You know? Unrelated to that, um, there was another project going on up on the other side from you. Um, the, um, I can't remember what it's called. Um, the Wentworth. Uh, it's Mark's um, storage facility. Right. Have right. They, they haven't started anything up there yet, have no, they? No. I know. How about the... Um, the very, very large pile. Of, yeah, he, has that, has it moved then? No, he hasn't done anything out there? Okay. He hasn't moved. Then. Okay. Right. He hasn't done so we haven't forgotten about that either. He hasn't so. done okay, but they haven't done any site work no. at all out there? No. no. What is that? It hasn't been uh, nice enough to do uh, anything. Is that behind so. you? Uh, no, uh, on the side of the side of him. On the side. He, he bought yeah. half of that field. Uh, and where, the, where the gravel stuff is? Right, and he's going to, uh, well, uh, the front part is owned by Turgeon. The back part's owned by Mark Wentworth. He subdivided oh. that into three lots. Oh, okay. And going to put a storage, storage uh, facility okay. back there. So. Okay. But there was some uh, gravel, debris, all sorts of things yeah. that were that left he, out that there he that he was going to clear out a long time ago and he was supposed to move. And, and, and he had said as part of this process he was going to do right. But he hasn't done any site. No, he hasn't done anything like that. So. Right. My other okay. question was. Uh, um, I, I emailed Suzanne and uh, uh, Bob Duchamp on that that room uh, there. Can I get a key so I can access what uh, my, my files? Uh, well, the, oh, down there. Yeah. yeah. She sent an email to Bob about it. Oh, okay. okay. I didn't okay. say anything yeah, about that. So, I don't have a, so he just hasn't done it. Yet. Well, no. There's a, there's an issue that we had to rekey a lot of. There's so many keys out there that right, nobody right. knows who has keys right. anymore. So. Oh. He's rekeying some doors. I got you. Yeah, okay. so. So we'll add that to the list of things that. Chief Dushan was, uh, she sent an email to okay. Chief, Chief and talking about your need. Yeah. And I, I didn't see I didn't know that you had, okay, so. Yeah, right. yeah, I think you yeah. uh, Maybe, I didn't yeah. see it though. Yeah, this so. was a, a week, of, in the last week or something, but right. okay. I, I saw it, you were looking for, right. to get to your cemetery files, right. correct? Yeah. 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 Oh. yeah. Okay, so thank, but, uh, that's, that's uh, fine. Thank you. So I get many, it, there are so many. So many, they're trying to resolve. Now he's floating out there. Then. Yeah. So. They didn't always get returned when people's terms ended, I guess. So. Right, right. So they're rekeying. Bob's okay. start fresh. Is upset. All right. he's, he's, no, he's concerned that there's right. all these keys now for the building floating out there. Right. So, and he's now going to be the issuance of all keys, yeah. right? He's going to be in charge be of all keys. Okay. Right. So, um. As soon as we get it settled, yeah. Well, has it been? Have you been getting access though? I mean, I don't want you to. Uh, no, I haven't needed to the, the okay. last couple okay. of weeks, so. All right. Because right. certainly someone. If I do, I mean, I'll, I'll see Kate. Okay. Yeah, because okay. right. someone, if it's right. during oh, uh, yeah. hours that are open, Kate they certainly let you in. Sure. Yeah. Well, we want to get it settled for you. Though. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Volunteering your time to yeah. make it more difficult. Thank you. For you. Mm -hmm. Any um, anything else for for us tonight? If not, we're gonna go home. Mm -hmm. All right. Listen, I don't mess